Hello, listeners. Before we get started, we want to thank our new sponsor, Answer One, for its support of this show. Their virtual reception service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to handle inbound calls, schedule appointments, and even respond to emails. Check them out at answerone.com forward slash podcast for a special offer. And now, on to the show. Welcome to the AVA Journal Legal Rebels podcast where we talk to men and women who are remaking the legal profession, changing the way the law is practiced, and setting standards that will guide us into the future. I'm Stephanie Francis Ward, a senior writer with the ABA Journal. Today I'm speaking with Mary Jutton, the founder and CEO of Tracklight, a platform that creates custom intellectual property strategies and assesses business risk for companies. She's also a co-founder of Evolve Law and writes occasionally for the ABA Journal. Welcome to the show, Mary. Thank you very much, Stephanie. I'm happy to be here. Can you tell me what inspired you to found Evolve Law? So the whole impetus for Evolve Law was when I was sitting down with my co-founder, Jules Miller, and we were talking about how difficult it is when we were talking to potential clients who happen to be attorneys. And with my then day job of Tracklight, we would sell to small businesses, but we were also working with a lot of attorneys. And there was this resistance to taking a look at or demoing And there was this resistance to taking a look at or demoing the software. So we thought we would come up with a way to have attorneys in the room and then actually touch and and interact with the software. Ah, I see. And I read that Evolve Law merged into the website Above the Law. Can you tell me how did that come about? Well, we started Evolve Law informally in 2014. And then in 2015, we had people from companies like Clio say to us, hey, where's the Evolve Law website? So we created a website. We started on the road. I went to and created about 50 events. And fast forward into 2017, we had over 100 members. We'd done over 50 events. And I met up with Shalay Miller of Above the Law. And she basically asked me, do you still want to be doing this? Like, what is your long range plan? And I said, well, I I don't really have one at this point. And we sat down and we started talking about how there could be this great synergy, which I'm not a fan of that word, but it actually applies here this great synergy between Above the Law with their platform and their reach, and then the community that we created that had a lot of connections and collaboration going on, but not as big a reach as Above the Law. I was curious, as a woman who's worked in legal technology for some time, do you think your experience has been different than that of men in the field in terms of gender? Well, I have to back up a little bit to answer that question because I've been working for over 30 years now. And, you know, in the beginning when I was working as a CPA, later um, working for an engineering company, I would worry a lot about like, am I getting the same seat at the table? You know, am I being invited? And ever since I turned 50, I've sort of decided that I will just take the seat at the table and I will just go forward. So for me, I think legal technology is a field where when you're on the technology side, I don't find it's problematic being female at all. And in fact, there seems to be a lot more female founders and a lot of women involved in the industry. So, you know, I know some some things have been written recently saying the opposite. It hasn't been my experience. My co-founder in Evolve Law, Jules Miller, female, and then, you know, Alma Assay, who just sold Allegory, female legal tech founder. So I don't find it problematic at all. All right. And that's about everything we have time for today. I want to thank you so much for joining us, Mary. You are very welcome. And thank you for having me. Yes. I'm Stephanie Francis Ward, and you've been listening to the ABA Journal's Legal Rebels Trailblazer podcast series. Is your firm experiencing missed calls, empty voicemail boxes, and potential clients you'll never hear from again? Enter Answer One Virtual Receptionists. They're more than just an answering service. Answer One's available 24 7. They can even schedule appointments, respond to emails, 
integrate with Clio, and much more. Answer One helps make sure your clients have the experience they deserve. Give them a call at 800 Answer One, that's the number one, or visit them at answerone.com forward slash podcast for a special offer. If you'd like more information about today's show, please visit legalrebels.com, legaltalknetwork.com, subscribe via iTunes and RSS, find both the ABA Journal and Legal Talk Network on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, or download the free apps from ABA Journal and Legal Talk Network in Google Play and iTunes. The views expressed by the participants of this program are their own and do not represent the views of, nor are they endorsed by, Legal Talk Network, its officers, directors, employees, agents, representatives, shareholders, and subsidiaries. None of the content should be considered legal advice. As always, consult a lawyer. Thank you.